Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, you'll see an unboxing of the new Warcry Heart of Gur. How cool is this? We've got the new Warcry Heart of Gur box set to unbox. So in this video, I'll be going through all the contents, having a real good look at everything, and hopefully this video will help you decide whether or not you'd like to add it to your collection. This is a starter set, so it's got everything you need to get going if you haven't played the game before. But this is Warcry 2.0 with some updated rules, and they've completely changed the whole aesthetic now. And I really like the branding they've done with this for this new setting in the heart of Gur. We've got a nice big box to go through. You're looking at, what, 29 centimetres there by 43 and a half centimetres by roughly... 13 centimeters and this is the nice box where the lid comes off so not like the kill team box that they did recently where it was a different style where you open it on the side here you open it as normal by lifting the lid off so all the way around we've got the Warcry Hrfgur logo going on there and it's all based in Warhammer Age of Sigmar alongside that lore on the back we get a good idea of what's included so nice picture of the whole battlefield laid out and it tells us what the box contains you're going to get the core book, the warband tome, Rotten Ruin. You're going to get 96 battle cards, the double-sided board, all the tokens, dice, ruler, fighter cards, ability cards you need. 20 miniatures, that's 10 for each warband. And then, of course, all this awesome scenery too. So now we've had a look at the outside of the box. Let's get it open and check out all the good stuff inside. Before we get started though, I want to just say a huge thank you to this month's sponsor and the sponsor of this video, and they are Excellent Minis. Excellent Minis produce miniatures on a 6, 10 and 15 mil scale. They also do some larger 28 and 32 mil characters as well, but they sent me out a load of their models to take a look at this month. Hopefully you saw the video I did where I painted up a load of the 10mm miniatures, including some of the Seraphon. And I thought they would be brilliant to do a mini Warcry game with. And so with the release of Heart of Gur now, I think this is great timing. During the video I did, I went through the huge tiny haul that they sent out, showing you a range of the different models. And here's the double-headed dragon that I really love. So this is going to be a monster in a Warcry game. I think that'll be fantastic. And I thought I'd put together a Cities of Sigmar warband to go up against the Seraphon. Seraphon, maybe even do an orc one. I'm not too sure yet which one, but check out that tiny Warhammer video I did and you can find out all about the different models, the different scales and how to clean them up, get them ready to paint and how to paint them too. And I'll put a link down below to the website for Excellent Mini so you can check out the huge range of awesome products that they do. So thanks again, Excellent Minis, for sponsoring the channel this month and for sponsoring this unboxing video of Heart of Gur. Okay, let's get this box open. So there's just four little tabs to cut off around the edge. I just sped this up a little bit because I was going quite slow, being very careful. And so flipping it over then, we can take the lid off. So just wiggle it there. Great to have these boxes. I'm glad they continued this and didn't switch to the side opening boxes. But here it is, our first glimpse of the contents and already we're welcomed with a load of sprues. So this is gonna be awesome. We've got uh, what looks like one of the war bands here. I'll just move that over. So I'll get it all out and just lay it down on the table. And then we'll have a real close look at each sprue in detail. So we've got one for each of the two war bands. And then this rest is going to be the terrain sprue. So yeah, lots of bits here from the look of it. Lots of small pieces. So this is going to be a time consuming build, I think. But a good amount there. What's that? Three, four, so far, five, six different sprues all together for the terrain. And there's one big chunky piece there. Looks like the spine of some beast that's been taken down. We've got the little bit of protective card that protects all the boards and everything with the horns of Hashu and Rot My Creed pictured on the back. Nice image. I really like these. Great to put on the wall. We've got the double sided board. Looking forward to having a good look at that. Our tokens. And we've got those ones with the single line on one side, which will be for when you use the reactions, I think. Then we've got all the cards in this neat little pack protected with a piece of card on the back. We've got our books. So there's going to be the core book, the book for Rot and Ruin and the instruction manual as well. Then we've got a little divider at the bottom. We'll get that out of the way. Really liking this branding. Yep, yeah, really good. We've got our bases there in the bag and a bag of dice in the new colours. These have changed slightly. So there we go. And that's everything. That's the box emptied. 
Right now it's all out on the table. We'll go through the sprues first and then we'll have a look at all the other components. I'll flick through the books real quick, but I'm going to do separate videos, one for each book, so we can really get into the contents on a deep dive. Here we go then, sprue number one. This is the terrain piece. So I picked out this one with that big spinal column there. So let's have a look how big it is. So what, we're looking at four centimetres tall. So that could be enough to hide some of the smaller miniatures behind for sure. So you get a bit of cover from that. But of course, we're going to build up all the trees and platforms around it. So that's a look on the back. And then we'll get up close and focus in a little bit so we can see the texture on the trees and the rocks and the skulls. And you can see it's very fine, the texture here, just touching it. It's enough to get some effect from the dry brush if we want to. So that's good. But certainly it's not rough bark by any means. Nice and smooth. Some really nice details though. The bamboo with the broken pieces. You've got scratches all over the bones. And then all like the rubble around it is great. There's all sorts going on in there. Skulls, rocks and debris. The second sprue has got a few of the bridges on here, lots of the little rib cages, which will be like um, like barricades and things like that. Some really nice pieces of the starship that's come down or some of the ruins. So that looks really good. Yeah, really happy with this. Let's get up close and check that out because the detail on this is brilliant and really crisp. Like it's really been done well. So very happy with the detail in here. Can't fault it at all. I really hope in the future sets that come out this year, we're going to see more of these kind of ruins and more of the starship itself. So it's not just going to be forest terrain pieces. I'd really like to see some big, chunky sections of the downcraft. I think that would be just awesome. Our third sprue is a repeat of the one we just looked at. So you're going to get two of those. And this is the only terrain sprue that has been repeated. Our fourth sprue here, it's got a nice big chunky piece in the top right that's going to be a skull with a tree growing around it we've got a nice size platform as well and some other little pieces so yeah lots of branches and things lots of small bits to glue together so this is not going to be a quick build for sure it's going to take a little bit of time but i think it'll be well worth it there's lots of character going on here the next one looks really great there's a really cool piece right at the top another co uh, spinal column by the looks of things for a smaller beast that's really good so i really like that bit another platform lots of bones and skulls going on so yeah this is going to look fantastic when it's put together i think and this sprue this has got lots of sections of that big skull so it's going to be a really good size this one you've got four what three or four sections maybe a few more to put together for that and have the tree growing on top of it too so yeah that's going to be quite big got another small platform there so really liking this one i love the theme i think the terrain is the winner for me so far with this new edition of war cry so can't wait to get this built now we've got the first sprue for the warband and this is going to be for the horns of hashut so they're all on this double one and some Nice pieces. Now, I'm not a fan of the horns of a shoot, so I don't even know if I'm going to be keeping these. I may not even build them. I might just sell them still on the sprue. Not really sure yet, but you, know, you can't fault the detail and the quality that you get with these miniatures from Games Workshop. So, yeah, I mean, looking at the detail on these, it's just fantastic. In fact, let's zoom in a bit so we can see a bit more. And here we go. So you can see just how crisp and detailed these are. Really impressed with them. All the different armor, the chains, those big round chain links are huge. The different types of weapons, the forks. So very nicely done. Really impressed. Yeah, you just can't fault it. I mean, the quality just gets better and better with the miniatures. We'll find out if the quality of the cardstock and the books, though, are any good later on. But yeah, as far as the miniatures go, these are brilliant and great how they're printed to go together now. We hardly ever see the seals once they're glued together. Next up, we've got the Rottmeyer Creed. Now, I like these out of the two, but I'm still, I've gone off them a little bit since I first saw them. When I first saw them, I thought, yeah, I like these. I like the swampy vibe. But then when I discovered the box wasn't really based in a swamp, it didn't really make much sense to be in the stilts, especially. But now I've seen the sprue, I'm back into them. I like them. I think the shields are fantastic. I like the vibe they're going with. And again, the quality in Christmas. Uh, Christmas? Not Christmas yet. Yeah, feels like Christmas doing an unboxing like this, um, but not yet. But the crispness is really great. So, yeah, I've got to say really happy with these. And after seeing them on the sprue, let's get up closer. I'm really happy. 
There's certainly lots of layers to these. You've got all the bamboo, which look too much like pan pipes, but I think that could work in their favour. I'm going to be using them in my own game as well, Weekend Warriors. I think they're going to work brilliant for that and give them maybe even a totally different background and character. Maybe they signal each other using the pan pipes. I don't know. But for Warcry, I think these are pretty interesting. It's going to be fun to see how they play. And um, yeah, I definitely like them much more now I've seen them on the sprue. I wondered if that would happen with horns of a shoot, because sometimes it does. You get something and you put it together or look at it like this and you really like it. But still, for me, horns of a shoot, no. But Rotmire Creed, loving it, loving the shields and just the whole vibe I'm getting from this. Next up, we've got a bag of bases. So not much to see there. I'll go through all the sizes when I do the deep dive videos for each warband. Now we've got the dice bag. Now I saw some pictures of these dice before and the print quality wasn't good. So I was a bit fussy when I was looking at these more than I would be usually, I think. So I examined all the dice, looking at the, the different dots and how well they're painted. And there's a few errors on some of the dice, but overall they're pretty good. Um, and I wonder if I'm just being more picky because I know there was a problem on some other dice. But let's have a look. Let's get in close and zoom in. And here we've got the logo, the new one. And this looks pretty good, pretty crisp. It's all filled in. So, yeah, it's all right. I can't complain about that. There's a little bit of an error there. So, yeah, not so cool. But otherwise, pretty good, pretty good. There's a little bit there, not painted properly. But let's check out the rest of the dice. We'll go through them all. Here you can see on some of the cream ones. Hard to see the white dots, I've got to say. But there's even some paint on the dice themselves and that's happened on two of them so when you're paying 140 pound for a box set like this i think you don't want to see stuff like this these little mistakes it just shows it's like poor, uh, poor quality printing really and so yeah i'm not really happy with this not not very good with the prices going up you want the quality to at least stay the same or improve but here i found what there was altogether seven dice with mistakes and then the rest were okay so out of those 18 dice with seven being misprinted uh yeah not very good like i said earlier though all the dice could have always been like this for the warcry box sets that i've opened before and i think i've paid a bit more attention than i usually would but it does stand out and just having that paint on the dice that's not great right let's have a look at the cards now so they come with this nice bit on the back that protects them so i'll just get this open Get the knife going through. Really cool to have my unboxing knife back. I lost my old one. Really gutted. Had it for years. Um, but thanks so much to Cyclair Knives and Tools who sent me out another one. So I'm really happy to have it back. And this one's super sharp too. So not messing around in the unboxing department anymore. Let's get these cards out and we'll check them out. Again, I'll probably do some more videos where we focus on the cards a bit more. Just going through some of the changes. Certainly we'll go through each of the two warbands in a deep dive. But we'll have a look maybe at the terrain cards too. Lots of different fighter options as you can see for each one. So that's really nice. They've also got the reactions on the side of the fighters too. So as we flip it over, you'll then see we've got all the abilities going on for each one. And they're not messing around. They've got quite a few going on too. So now we've got all the different cards. We've got our victory cards with the new branding on the back. And so that's all changed up a little bit. But the, the whole process is going to be pretty much the same. So really nice that they've included these cards too. Great to get the terrain ones as well. Really happy with that. Here's our twist cards. So a nice bunch of those. And so, yeah, good to go through them and see if they're going to be different or whether they're the same as what we've had before. We'll wait and see on that one. Here we've got our deployment. So nice selection. And then the terrain layout. So with the terrain included, we're going to have loads of different ways to put it together. There's the logo on the back. Really nice. Yeah, I like this new style. The colours, everything they've done here. Really good. I'm really on board with that. Then we've got the duplicate cards here. So if you're using one fighter card for a number of models, you'll certainly want to be using those. And then we've got the cards. Now, the first thing I got from this when I felt them is that the cardstock isn't the same as it used to be. It definitely feels different. A bit rougher around the edges. Again, a little bit cheaper, I think. The print quality is good. Can't fault that at all. But just the feeling of the cards, it doesn't feel as good, not as smooth, maybe not as glossy even. And so that's something to think about. So again, we're paying that higher price now. It's up to £140. We want the quality the same or better, but we certainly don't want that quality to get worse as the price goes up. And I just fear that's what's happened here with the cards and certainly with the dice that we saw earlier on. But otherwise, printing's great. 
all looking good, and you're going to get seven fighter cards for each of the two warbands. Right, now let's move on to the books. So we've got three books in here, the core book, the book that comes with the setting, the Rotten Ruin book, and then we've also got the manual to put together our models. So I'll get this wrapping off. I've been really careful here because this knife is super sharp. It's going to scratch my books up if I'm not careful. So there we go, three books, core book, looking really nice. I love the imagery on this. And then we've got our instruction manual there. Let's flick through that real quick. It looks nice and detailed, well put together as we can expect by now. Look at all those different variations down there, loads of different ways to put together some of the fighters. So that's really nice. The terrain section's pretty chunky, lots of terrain to put together with all the small components. So I think it's gonna take a little while to get all that ready, but um, that's part of the fun, building it all up. And I can't wait. The terrain is the thing I really liked about this box. It was the first one I was on the fence a little bit about, but um, obviously I had to get it. And then especially with that terrain, loved it. Now we've got the Warband Tome, the Rotten Ruin. So this is all going to be giving us rules for the Heart of Gur terrain. And right away, I love the whole look of this book. The, the images, the map looks really nice. I'm going to flick through it quick, but we are going to go through this together in, a, in another video where I do a deep dive on the book. Um, but brilliant photos. I'm loving it. It looks really good. I love how they put the books together. And so, you know, keeping that... Warcry vibe but with this new setting you've got the page images there on the side all the twisted vines and skulls so it's really setting the scene nicely so yeah all the little sketches throughout that's really good really happy with the book now the core book nice big book here with the updated rules can't wait to go through this and again we'll do that together in another video very soon probably today even you might even see that one up on the channel some nice um, images and brilliant yeah love it They've certainly got the whole vibe right. Although they keep pitching it as swampy, or I'm thinking of it as swampy, and it isn't. Oh, let's go back to that, because that is fantastic. Now, that's what I'm really expecting to see in some future sets, some terrain like that. But really nice looking book again. So with both of these, I think they've nailed it. Can't go wrong with it. And uh, yeah, I'll do a deep dive. We can really examine it. But uh, the way they brought together all the old warbands is looking really nice. And then the pictures, the rules updates, all tying in to this Heart of Gert. Loads of rule, uh, rune marks now, so that's really nice. And I'm just getting a nice feel from it. So the book quality is great, can't fault that. That's certainly not gone down in quality. Gone up, if anything, so that's one good thing. And um, yeah, really, really nice. Everything in this book so far I'm liking the look of. Can't wait to dive into it later on and share it with you in another video. OK, let's have a look at the boards and the tokens next. So we get this open. Now, there doesn't seem to be many tokens here. There's only one token board. And so I wonder if there's going to be enough of the damage tokens to use for two warbands. We'll have to wait and see in a game. I've got a feeling that's not. I think we're going to need a few more. Unless the rules have been updated in such a way that they get killed so quick, you can just swap them over. But here's the ruler. Nice, flexible ruler that we're used to. Nothing different there. And then we've got this. So one thing to note is we've got the tokens with the single red slash on it rather than the cross. Now that's, I believe, for when you do a reaction because you have to use one of your actions. And if you haven't activated yet, you can do that. So I think that's to represent that. But everything else is the same. Really nice to get the tokens for the dagger, hammer, shield. Really happy with that. Um, yeah, so there's the crosses there. But the only thing is I just don't think there's enough damage tokens from think looking at it here it doesn't look enough at all once you've got 20 models certainly if you're not killing them off in one go and they're all getting injured there's no, you're going to be a bit short so good chance if you've got other mo other sets you're going to have more tokens though probably too many if you like me i've got hundreds of the blooming things right here we go here's the board and now this looks stunning i was a bit worried about the other side what it was going to look like hoping for a green board but I'm not disappointed when you see this. I'll zoom out in a second. There we go. We can have a proper look at the board. But this is beautiful. Really nice. You've got the skulls there and different rocks and things going in. Really, a bit of an autumn theme, which I think will fit really nicely with these guys. So let's get one out and have a look. And that really works nicely. So, yeah, I'm very happy with the board. This side especially it looks brilliant. But let's get it flipped over and we'll check out the other side. We didn't see much of... 
the two sides in the previews and the articles on the Warhammer community site. But this one's nice, got more pink hues to it, purples, uh, lots of browns, a little bit of a cog there coming through. So we certainly should see some terrain that represents that downed spacecraft. So yeah, really nice that board. That's great. Now let's have a look at everything laid out that we've gone through. So that's the sprues done. We've done all the tokens, cards, the books, everything now. So now I'm going to get busy having a look at the book, having a real good read through it. And then I'll do a separate video so we can go through it together and you can see exactly what's included. Then I'm going to build the terrain, get it painted as quick as I can, do some videos on that too. I might break down the cards into a separate video and maybe we can go through that. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see in the comment section below and I can do that too. So there we go, there's Warcry, the Heart of Gur, new box set and all the contents. So hopefully this has given you a good idea of what to expect if you'd like to pick up a copy for yourself. I'm really happy with most of the things in here. There were some issues for sure with the dice and the card quality, that's definitely changed. But the books are brilliant, they're one of my favourite parts of this so I was very surprised by that. And the quality of the models on the sprues, you just can't fault it. Box art, I love it. I love the new vibe, the new aesthetic of the whole game. So really glad that they've changed it. I like having things mixed up and the new setting is something I can really get behind. And I love the Rot My Creed now. Definitely impressed by that sprue. Tokens are great, really nice to have the Dagger Hammer Shield, but again, just a bit concerned there's not enough of those damage tokens to use. These are nice as well, flipping them around from the single line to the double uh, line like the cross here, so that's really good. But yeah, I've got to go on about the books, because for me, I just think they're brilliant. They've done such a good job. I love the maps inside. I think they really set the scene well. This sketch made me do a double take. I love stuff like this, this kind of concept art almost, but this is brilliant because that's really given us a hint of what to expect. Photography, bang on. And then things like this are really nice too. Very simple, but really effective. Nice to see lots of rue marks as well included in the book, bringing all those up to date and also rue marks for all the factions included too. So the books, the board and the terrain is definitely the winner for me from this box set. I'm very glad I got it now and really happy Rot My Creed too. So really impressed with that quality of the models. But if you haven't picked up your box set and you'd like to get one, and I can recommend Firestorm Games. I'll put a link in the description below where you can save up to 20% on all your hobby products. And they've given me a special code this month as well. So if you use the code, which is down in the description, and you order before the 31st of August this year, you can save an additional 5% off of their prices on the website. So definitely worth checking that out and ordering your box set from them. A big thank you to Excellent Minis again for sponsoring today's video and for my other sponsors who've been sponsoring the channel throughout the month. Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're looking forward to seeing all the other Warcry content that's going to follow this over the next week or so. So can't wait to get stuck into all that. So thanks again for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this and don't forget to hit that notification bell too to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible. And if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there. And I'll put a link for that in the description down below.